Hi Bulldogs, Chris Bryant here. Got a CCNA video practice question in lab for you on funny ping results. And I know that funny is a very relative term uh, when you're sending some pings around because when they're not going through, you're not getting what you expect. They ain't nothing funny about it. So what I'm going to do here is hit you with a practice exam question in about 10 seconds. And you can pause the video if you want. You have a little more time to think about it. But even if you think you've got the answer nailed, stick around because I've got a really good lab on live Cisco routers to go along with it. So let's pull today's question up. A ping results in u.u.u. .u .u. What is the most likely reason for that? A, the packets are not leaving the router. B, this can't happen because pings are always going to give you five of the same character by default. C, the packets are leaving the router, and this is actually a successful ping with the all ping option. Or D, the packets are leaving the router, but a downstream router doesn't have a path to the pinged destination. So let me give you just a quick description of the very simple lab we've got to test this, because the simple labs can be the best in illustrating concepts like this. We've got a simple hub and spoke router. Our spokes are routers 2 and 3. Our hub is router one, and we know the deal with spoke-to-spoke -spoke communication. It's got to go through the hub. So that is an important concept to keep in mind. Let's go ahead and head for the live equipment. And by some miracle of technology, we've got router three right here, one of our spoke routers. And I attempted to ping a loopback that is on router two. And I got that u.u.u result. Now, by itself, you know, pings don't tell you a whole lot. Trace route can be kind of helpful sometimes, but I want to introduce you to one debug, debug IP packet. You have to be super careful with running this in the real world because you will get so much output if you run this on a production network at the wrong time that it can actually overload the router. And obviously, we don't want to do that, but it's a great lab command. And let's go ahead and send that ping again while that debug is running. And your u.u.u .u .u is going to be spread out through this. Don't worry about that. And even if you've never seen this output, there's always something good you can get from a debug readout. You don't have to know everything that's going on, but this one, you know, you see some lengths and serial zero. That's the interface we're working with. You can see that we're sending packets and also that we're receiving something. And so that kind of tells me the packets are leaving the router, so we could eliminate that as a problem. Let me show you what it looks like real quick when the packets are not leaving the router. And what I'm going to do is shut that interface down, and then I'm going to send the ping again. This is the magic word you're going to get, unroutable. When you see that, it means the local router doesn't have the faintest idea what to do with this packet. Or... If you're working on an L3 switch, it could also mean that you left you know, IP routing off. But on this situation, it simply means there is no match in the routing table. Boom. So let's go ahead and reopen that interface real quick. We'll give that a few seconds to cook. Because I want to give you a troubleshooting tip here before we really continue with the lab. Uh, that Really, I wish someone had told me when I started studying this stuff. Uh, be really careful not to just focus on one router. Okay, because it, it, the problem is not necessarily on the router that you're on. And let me show you exactly what I mean, what I mean by that. If you've got show IP route and you're trying to ping 2222, which is what we did earlier, and you can't do it and you're getting this really weird result, the first thing you're probably going to do after the ping is look at your routing table. And if you're getting this mess and you're not getting connectivity, and then you look at the routing table and say, well, it's right here, then, you know, sending more pings is not going to help. What you have to realize is that the problem doesn't exist on the router that you're on. Because when you see these U's, that means that a downstream router is telling you, hey, I can't reach this. I don't know where that is. So if we are on a spoke, where should we go next if we think there's a, a, an unroutable message like this, or if we know there is, we should go to the next router downstream, which in this case is our hub. So we go to router one, and there's your problem right there. Router one doesn't have any kind of match for 2222 in its routing table at all. So that is definitely the issue there. Again, when you see your ping results and you get five dots back, you know, you could run that debug, you could do some show commands, 
the problem might be local. But when you start seeing those U's in there, that means a downstream router is having an issue. So we also, as a little bonus, got to see what it looks like when the packets aren't leaving the router. But the correct answer is D, the packets are leaving the router, but a downstream router doesn't have a path to that pinged destination. C here, by the way, is a red herring. I don't throw these in too often, but I know Cisco does it every once in a while, so I like to do it too. Uh, this is a nonsense answer. It makes absolutely no sense whatsoever. So stick with D on that one. Thanks for watching today's video boot camp. I hope you'll come out and check us out on Twitter, on YouTube, on the blog, our blog, Facebook as well. The website's just about to get a total makeover, thank God. And on top of that, we've got tons of free eBooks, almost literally. We've got one for a but, uh, for the CCNA, the CSENT, all the CCMP exams, the new CCNA security exam. We're going to have free guides out there as well as our 999 study guide. So we hope to see you out on our Kindle store and our Apple store very shortly. Thanks for watching today's video and for making TBA part of your Cisco certification success story.